right, while I'm waiting for the power steering to be sorted out, I'm going to start uh, cleaning the interior out. And with the seat out this side, I can make a good start. I think I'm going to remove the rear seats. Um, I'm going to have a look, see if I need to, but I'm feeling that they're probably going to have to come out, have a good clean. But uh, you can see when they get to the body shop, they do get messed up. Although this was already messed up, it's even worse now. But uh, I'll clean some of this, get the steamer out on the plastics and clean some of that as well. Just work out which uh, to do first really. But uh, I'll have a look and I'll let you know as I go along. I need to remove that. I think I might get that recovered in leather. Might look nice between the seats. But we'll see. Right, see you in a bit. Using G101. And the detailing brush to agitate. There's a lot of uh, spilt coffee or, or fizzy drinks that have uh, spilt over the centre console. So I'm just going to give it a good, good scrub. stains that have run down the side as you've probably seen from the first part of the video This is where all the old uh, microfibers, the, these have been washed, but this is what it, the jobs they use for after they're no good for polishing. No. Let the steam. Initially, the, the brown guns just running out of the, the panel now. You probably can't see from the camera. Of course, I'm going to clean the car at a later day. Just let it all run down because it'll all be extracted with the carpet extractor. So, we'll give this a bit of a wipe, get the residue, especially in the gaiters because it builds up. 
in the gear gator and the unbrake gator so we make sure we can get that out I'll get the airline in here shortly and make sure it's all blown out But this has already made a million percent difference. And all that staining is now gone. Now I'll get the airline out and blow out the uh, debris that's in the cup holders. And um, the rest of the damp that's in the gaiters. Now that's just uh, really just showing you the beauty of using a steamer. It's quick, effective, and uh, at least you know it's sanitised as well by the time we're finished. Right then, I'm going to move on, blow this out, just check, make sure it is clean, looks clean. But uh, I've still got the centre part of the dash to do on the other side of the car. Really, I'm waiting till the seat's out the other side to do the opposite bits. I'll be moving on to the carpet area um, shortly. So, uh, and you can see the seats are in a bad way as well. So, I'm going to clean them next. Seems I'm over this side, and then decide whether I need to take them out to do it. Um, we'll see, and I'm sure you'll see when I know. So, for now, that's it. I'm all gonna crack on. Well, after spending six hours inside this uh, ST doing the one side of the seats, the carpet, the dash um, getting all the airs I've used tweezers to get all the stubborn airs out and uh, I mean really this part of the carpet should have been untouched but it, as you've probably seen in the video it was uh, in a complete state but to have a change from uh, cleaning carpets I'm now going to address this door pillar now as you can see this had a bad uh, repair on this quarter before and there's overspray all along the pillar um, and the door jam I mean I've just had all this repainted but they've only masked off so I'm gonna get rid of all the telltale signs you can see there's hardly any gloss down here so just to have a change from vacuuming for a while i'm going to have a go at polishing this up and as you can see there's loads of marks to get out and you know they shouldn't be there it should look nice and um, there's flatting marks in here i need to get out so i'm going to keep myself busy on that for an hour or two and uh, we'll have a look after See how much improvement there is. Alright, I'll see you shortly. Just thought I'd show you what I'm going to use to do the uh, the door jam. And I'm using the Nano Polisher Carbon Collective uh, microfiber pad. This is uh, an orbital, not a rotary. If I need a rotary, I should get the other polisher out. But uh, I think this should do it. I've just done a test patch and that seems to be coming up okay, so let's go. You probably see I've covered the carpet with uh, polythene after I've uh, spent all that time cleaning it. So I've just uh, put some protection down so I don't have to do it all again. Especially with the paste flicking around this, this section of the door. 
Right, now I've spread the paste around. We're just going to slowly let the machine do its job. I'm not trying to force it in any way. Just going to let the warp on the microfiber just work the compound. It just happens that uh, this pad is slim enough that it's going behind the rubber without removing it. So it's quite handy. Right, we'll call that the first set. I probably would have worked it a little bit longer, but we'll have a look. And, uh, I don't know if you could see that, but it's made a lot of uh, difference. So what I shall do now is I'll do another set or two, work my way down. I mean, you can actually, you can hear the overspray on the panel, whereas you can't hear. So we'll get rid of all that, make it nice and shiny. Um, so you shouldn't be able to tell that it's ever been painted. Um, this part will take a little bit more work because of the, uh, let me look, just lower this. Because there's flatting marks along this part of the door jam. Just here. Um, that'll take a little bit more work, but um, it'll all come out nice in the end. I just thought I'd show different tools for different jobs. And obviously the time that you put in to these details make a big difference at the end of the job. Um, you know, who wants to open the door and see a load of overspray? And it... This is the overspray from the first time it was repaired because I watched this all be masked off um, before it was painted, so I know that it isn't from this job. So uh, we're just improving everything, you know, it's all got to look good and try and get it looking as good as new. Right then, I'll see you on the next one. For all you Ford enthusiasts that are watching the uh, focus being done, I've had this arrive. Um, this is going up for sale, uh, fully restored, two owner car, um, but it's 80 grand or very near his offer. And uh, it's a lovely, lovely car, Moonstone Blue. Beautiful. But well, anyway, going back to uh, this door pillar, now looking uh, a lot better than it was earlier. And uh, Nice and shiny. So we'll find uh, something else to work on. Still waiting for Peter to do the power steering. So I'm limited to what I can do. But uh, there's still plenty to clean. Right, I'll see you later. This morning I've moved on to the windscreen. The windscreen has got a lot of marks from uh, the wiper blades in it so i've been using cerium oxide and a rayon pad and as you can see um i don't think i'm going to get the worst of the scratches out but it'll certainly take some of the minor ones out um it is a time consuming job but um it is quite badly marked so that's what i'm doing at the moment but it is messy the cerium oxide just sprays everywhere and uh, I don't like trying to do it but 
it's just one of them things. Before I start the paint work, I want all these other incidentals um, as good as I can get them, so that when I'm polished it, you know, I'm not spraying this oxide all over the place. So uh, I'm going to give it a wipe down and see if we've had any luck at all. I'll show you in a minute. I don't know if this shows up on camera, but if you see this area here from the one wiper blade and this side, although there is still marks there, it is a big difference. Um, not perfect, but you can see it has made a lot of difference to this side of the uh, glass. So I'm just going to continue getting out where I can and at least we'll have made it uh, better than it was. I uh, can't get them all out like I said but uh, I'm going to continue over the glass see what I can get out. But uh, I'm quite pleased with this side, it uh, actually looks better than I thought it would. Right then, I'm going to crack on, make more mess, see in a bit. Right, so I've finished doing what I'm going to do to the windscreen. Looks a lot better, but it's not perfect. I've come to start cleaning the uh, rear of the car. And when you open the tailgate, you, you met with this. And I don't think that looks very nice. So I've started um, here and I'm using the one inch uh, polishing mop um, to polish the inside of the rails. So I'm going to try and get that uh, looking more respectable. Like I say, I started over here. It appears to be over spray. Where from? God only knows. Because, uh, you know, it was uh, the same all the way down here. I've polished that bit, but this is under the rear lights. And you can see, you know, it looks like it was done from the factory. Like that. Well, the car's gloss black, so why in earth would uh, that be there? But anyway, I'm going to make it look better. Um, you know, just don't do anything for the car. I know it's a trivial bit, but, you know, let's do the job properly. Right then, I'll show you the results once I've done them. Well, I've now got this a damn sight better. And looks a lot better than it did before. I've done down these rails, but as you know, the rear lights sit here. So uh, just tidied it up. Looks a bit more respectable when you open the boot lid. So I can carry on cleaning uh, inside now. Just get uh, the plastics clean and the back of the seats and obviously the floor pan. So uh, I'm going to move on. And I'll see you in a bit. Well, I think it's been quite successful today. There we are. All the inside nice and clean. Some damage to the plastics that I can't really do anything with. But, uh, Looking lovely and clean anyway. 
a far cry from what it was and uh, obviously it looks prettier up there as well right then thanks for watching and those of you that haven't subscribed could you doesn't cost anything but it does me the world of good trying to get to a thousand subscribers and uh, I've just had 800,000 views and still haven't got 500 subscribers so I'd like to uh, exceed that if I could thank you very much right see you soon right with the rear compartment now clean and finished you can see the wiper blade has left a mark all the way across the rear windscreen so I'm going to try and polish some of it out um, like the front I won't be able to get it all out but hopefully I'll be able to get rid of this halo so I'm going to have a go at that now and then I'm going to think about what I'm going to do with the driver's side interior which hasn't been touched Still waiting for the lever man to turn up. Um, I don't know if he don't want to do it or not. He keeps saying he's coming and ain't arrived, so we'll see. Right then, I'll get on with this. Well, I've spent the last four hours um, polishing this glass. As you can see, I've managed to remove 99% of the scratches. Um, there's some really deep ones down in this area. But as you can see, they're not showing up. Um, all the halo has gone. And it looks much better than it did earlier. Uh, it's been a lot of work. The rotary is on fire. Um, but it's done the job. Probably cheaper to put a windscreen in it, but there you go. So that's another job off the list and I can move on to something else now. I'm probably um, going to repolish the roof while it's still sitting here and go and remind Peter that he's got power steering to look at but uh, they haven't come to collect it yet. So I'll we'll just crack on. I don't want to do too much and then have mechanics mauling all over the car. So uh, I'm just going to do the jobs I can do while it's standing here. Right then, that's another one ticked off the list. Right, see you later. Well, I'm now looking at the roof, although it looks nice. You can see that it has sunk. You see them cloudy bits? That's where it's been polished while it was still curing. And basically it's now sunk and it's been done long enough now there's patches all over for me to uh, repolish it so I know this was flatted before they polished it so I'll just need to polish over it again which is uh, what I'm about to do Make it look nice and when it comes back from having its power steering it can go on the ramp and I won't have to worry about reaching over to uh, reach for the polisher well after recolouring the seat this morning and uh, touching them in I'm now using furniture clinic leather protection cream and coating the seats and I can actually see the leather sucking the cream in so I'm going to give it a couple of coats obviously dried out a little bit and especially with the steaming and that so we're going to give it some nourishment back so I'm just going to do the backs of the seats seat or seat now um, 
But I thought I'd show you how the leather is sucking it in. Right, I'm going to get on, finish coating the seat. <laughs> 